In this toolkit, we have four shots, and we can change the logo on each of them to whatever we want. We can also change the shirt color and the background color. Let's have a quick overview of the techniques to make this possible. To track the shot, go to Effect, Vranos, Lockdown, then press Pop Out. Track the points roughly where the logo is going to be placed. Then create some expansion points. And enable interpolation so they follow the existing points. After you close Lockdown, press the Lockdown button in the After Effects interface, and it will create a stabilized pre-comp inside here. Add your logo. Back in the main composition, your logo will track to the shirt. There are a lot of fine points to tracking, but these basic steps will get you most of the way. To apply shading to the logo, we need to duplicate the footage layer, desaturate it, and turn it into a luminance mat by adding contrast. Then, make an adjustment layer, and make sure the adjustment layer is bound within the shape of the logo and to the luminance of the luminance mat we just created. I'm using the set matte effect to do this, but there are a lot of different ways. You can apply color correction within these mats to selectively darken just the logo, matching the lighting that's already on the shirt. To change the shirt's color, pre-compose it into its own comp, then add composite brush and click and drag on the shirt and alt click and drag everywhere else. Then choose the silhouette alpha transfer mode to isolate the shirt. It may require a little roto to perfect the key. In order to change the shirt into any color, you'll want to desaturate it and brighten it so the brightest part of the shirt is pure white. At this point, we'll mask it so we can see the comparison with the original footage. Then when we put on the photo filter, we can sample the color of the shirt and try to make it as exact of a match as possible. The original color makes a great default, and now by editing the photo filter, you can try new colors. Changing the background follows pretty much the same steps.